Hi, New Life Fellowship, Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. Um, today I have a special interview for uh, you all. This is for New Life Fellowship, Ho Chi Minh City, for our church. Uh, and this interview is uh, supposed to be like an encouragement uh, to you all. And those you are a New Life Fellowship of Churches overseas, uh, if this video uh, will be encouraging for you, so be it. And those who are even visitors to our church and watch our uh, YouTube channel, I hope to be a blessing to you. So on the topic of hospitality, uh, in our Discord channel, there's a, uh, a channel called Hospitality. I share a little bit there. I post a few videos. And oftentimes, I mean, good video that happen to be uh, overseas, meaning, uh, mainly in the U.S. And uh, the author wrote a book and shared the video. And sometimes I have a feeling that, you know, sometimes our folks watch a video and say, uh, you know, oh, that's U.S., that's, uh, you know, they're they rich, uh, that, or they have big homes, or, or the economy is good, and so, so many other things. And so I'm, 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 not, uh, I'm not like you in the U.S., I live in Vietnam, and I'm an expat, I'm, I'm you know, I'm a, a foreigner here. It, it's, uh, it's challenging sometimes for me, uh, you know, even just work, um, you know, office hour either 9 to 5 or just, you know, um, Monday to Saturday. And then uh, if I can, I just make time to the church. It's already uh, very tiring already. I know, I understand that. But uh, hospitality is not, is not a project. It's not, it's not like a campaign. Uh, supposedly, according to the Bible, it should be a, our lifestyle. Basically, you know, open our home. Uh, whether you invite someone you know or someone you uh, in the office, in church, just for even a cup of coffee or tea or a drink, right? Uh, that, that's hospitality. It doesn't have to be fancy meal. Uh, you have to have be headed about how to decorate your home. Uh, even you said, oh, you just have in one room, uh, you know, just, just you and uh, somebody. Well, you can invite one uh, or two if up to you. Um, and then uh, the, the case of our um, COVID uh, situation, well, uh, people still, the government still allowed uh, 20 people gathering. I, I, I think most home can take, you know, easy four or five. Uh, I, I, you know, I don't ask uh, anyone to invite big group, right? And so uh, this, the, today I'd like to inv uh, uh, interview uh, Diego and Prem. As, as you know, our small group um, be, uh, resume in March. There will be uh, the, a group uh, uh, in District 1 uh, with Thompson and then uh, with District 2, Prem, and District 7 alternate between uh, Diego's home and, and my home. So I would like to just simply ask them uh, how hospitality or hosting others come for a meal, a cup of tea, become you know, kind of a natural a lifestyle to them, right? So um, uh, Diego, Prem, you just, just share with us from your heart, right? Uh, maybe begin, uh, you know, Digo can, can start. I mean, uh, when Pastor, you announced about the hospitality, uh, the small group gathering, LifeNet, uh, we were like, you know, very happy really to host people there in our house. And it was indeed a blessing for us. Uh, my wife and I, we really had a nice time. Uh, I mean, it's, to tell you the truth, it's, I'm selfish in being hospitable, actually. So... Being hospitable, it's, it's not that we being a blessing to others. It's, in fact, God has given us an opportunity where by inviting his people, by inviting God's people, we are being blessed. So that's my selfishness in that. In fact, we are being blessed by inviting others. So that's what, uh, that's what makes us to be like, you know, inviting people. So thank God for that opportunity. And uh, we are very happy for that. Prem, you like to add anything? Yeah, it's firstly it's a blessing, Pastor, and uh, you know it's it's actually a God's willing. God is providing us, and which you know it's a kind of seed, uh, which we are also trying to sow to others. Like when we open the doors for you know believers, it is not like you know uh, just you know, opening the doors for uh, food and uh, drink. It's we are also learning a lot from other believers. Uh, you know we 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 think we know, but you know. When we listen from others, uh, we get more faith. We, uh, you know, knowing more about, you know, the scripture. So it's really a blessed pastor to mm, open right. the doors. Yeah. So if you are on Discord, you can uh, know our small group schedule by type a command or a syntax question mark, 
uh, and then the name of the month with three letter. Let's say March, M A R, and then 21. So that's the year. You will see a list of small group meeting, the dates and time. And this year, you will see the the one that highlight there is uh, hospitality and outreach. And that I have purpose in mind that besides the Bible study live net group that we have, uh, each of you, uh, if you pray to that and you open your heart, you can invite a not yet believing friends or somebody that you know you meet in the office almost every day, every month, but never be able to have the time that really uh, can intentional be intentional share about you know Jesus and so that my encouragement to you so that kind of a week that I encourage everyone uh, to open their home if you like to host take turn to host whether in district one two seven or three or other district uh, please let me know talk to me then we work it through and I hope that be as I said uh, it's gonna be a blessing to you and you will see uh, God's moving in your life through hospitality. That's my prayer and my hope. Now, uh, for the um, people who have not uh, yet know Christ, so how do you how do you think about inviting them over your home? Actually, it's it's nice. In fact, uh, I mean, when we are in Vietnam, it's it's not uh, our home, but all the people whom we know here, it's God has placed us here. God has blessed us here. So that we can be a blessing to them. So people who are who don't yet know Christ, it's a privilege for us to even host them and show them our lifestyle, show them our God that you know who's given us a heart to invite them. So it's again a privilege, in fact. Wow, uh, that's great. How about you, Prem? Uh, I still did not get an experience of you know uh, inviting non uh, non -in, non -in believers, Pastor. But uh, we are praying for that. Uh, I'm willing to open, and you know, I can. It's a, it's a chance for me to be an Andrew, to you know, uh, talk about Jesus and make others to know more about Him. Mm. So I'm praying for that. I want to be a fisherman this year, to get the souls to know Jesus Christ. Uh, amen. Now uh, let's talk about a practical side, which means that let's say you have a a, a plan. Uh, you look at your calendar. You have a day, a date. Uh, that you uh, you send out to invite people coming over for either tea, coffee, or uh, or lunch or dinner, uh, and then the practical side, which means that uh, I assume that uh, you guys don't cook, right? So uh, if it's involved dinner or lunch cooking, uh, who's gonna do that, right? <laughs> Even before inviting someone, I have to make sure my wife <laughs> agrees for that. <laughs> so it's happy wife, happy life, you know. <laughs> so once she agrees, and thank God for. Uh, a wife God has blessed me with, like, was always, uh, I mean, she encourages me to invite people. And uh, I mean, it's it's both of us yeah. together. And if both agree, then yes, it's... Yeah. it's so I assume that she's happy that... Uh, yes, yes, yes. Yes, right. Otherwise, I'll be sent out of the house. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Prem? Yeah, we both are happy, Pastor, to, yeah. you know, uh, to invite others. And Jasmine also. You know, uh, hundred percent happy. Yeah. Invite. Even though you know, initially we felt like our house was very small because we have a living room. It's very limited. Maximum can sit, uh, uh, you know, four to five people. But still, you know, uh, we are happy. Even though if more people come, uh, I mean, in I mean, in fact, like you know, brothers and sisters who come, even though we don't have chairs, they are ready to sit on the floor. Yeah. So we don't feel anything. You know. Yeah. Uh, bad like we don't we have a very small house still we are okay and we both are happy yeah to you know host yeah i think in indeed i agree with you guys that you know open our home it both uh you know be a blessing to others but again at the same time we receive the blessing of the lord uh, the blessing of the lord does not always come in the form of money it can be you know emotion your relationship uh, you know, friendship, you know, if you are expat here, all the more, all the more, I encourage you to open your home. Why? You will make friends even within the expat community, especially the local. Uh, you are here for a reason, for a season. Why? Because whether you believe it or not, but and from what I see, I share that, uh, you know, God, God bless you here. Of course, the company posts you here, or you found a job here, but for for the kingdom of God perspective, you are here for a season, and definitely there a reason. 
that you and I can be Andrew. So for me, the same. I always check with Hua, say, hey, um, I'm thinking about inviting someone next week. Uh, I, 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 on a practical note, I do encourage the, the, the guys, uh, the, the husband, to inform your wife early. Otherwise, you say, tomorrow, <laughs> then, then like, the wife, like, but I think some wife is flexible, say, yes, sure, we can, right? Because uh, the idea is not to impress our guests with food or whatever. They, the heart of the hospitality is Jesus Christ. Amen. Where you, uh, you ba basically like a, a hand and, and, and feet to the non-believing friends, uh, whether even Christians who feel uh, down or feel uh, distressed during this pandemic. I'm so touched and encouraged if I see uh, these guys and others that inviting them over for friends, especially during the pandemic, to encourage them, especially they, they lose their job or have pay cut. And it's just, uh, you know, a tremendous uh, energy in terms of we open our home for hospitality. Those who are single, you have the luxury of time because if you say, I want to invite, you can do it immediately. You don't need to ask, like, why you can call because you yourself. But the other side means that you sometimes say, oh, I'm a single. I don't want, you know, I can go out, hang out better to invite someone uh, to my place, even a small apartment. My encouragement to you, there's a world different between you and that person. Go coffee shop, nicer place, and there's a time and a, a, a room for that, absolutely. But there's always something different when you invite someone to your place, whether apartment, a house, uh, they can see how you live. And some of you maybe help you to keep your house, you know, <laughs> more neat and uh, nice and clean, right? So I don't know if you got involved in cleaning the house when you... Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, I remember also I have to help Zuhua when there's somebody... I, I'm so happy because there's someone coming, so my house yeah. looks nicer, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so I think, uh, that's, I think that's, that's kind of uh, the... the um, the, both in the spirit and, and, and the practical size. So I do encourage you all in the church as you're watching this video and uh, everyone. So I don't want you just to finish the video and say, oh, only the Indian can do it. Right? I don't want to say because it just happened, just happened that there's an Indian uh, supposed to have uh, one relation for Brother Thompson to interview, but he has a meeting uh, this afternoon, so next time. But I want to hear more story and testimony how God has been blessed you and you become blessing to others. At the same time, you receive his blessing and the important part that you encounter God present, especially when a non-believers or not yet believing friend come into your home. That's where they see Jesus. As I remember Andrew and you, the sermon, that they need to see you, see Jesus in your home, in your church, in your office, and everywhere you go. And so uh, I really pray and hope that all of you can be hospitable. And as uh, the scripture said, practice hospitality without complaint, without crumbling. And so uh, thank you, uh, Diego. And thank you, Prem, for uh, sharing with us. And not only sharing, but continue to open your home uh, to be a blessing to others as you receive God's blessing. Thank you uh, off the camera for uh, Jasmine and Vinita. Uh, for supporting them and uh, and help uh, uh, us together to be trained uh, in righteousness by uh, practicing hospitality. So I will see you in the next clip. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye.